Thomas, how are you, how are you enjoying your day? Good. Good. I'm happy that we actually came out here. Yeah, <laughs> you gonna hurt yourself. Oh, what the fuck, yo? What's going on? He's a fierce one. Can't believe I missed that a while. That was getting crazy. <laughs> Flying vertebrates that have a wingspan greater than 25 feet. But Kessel's remnants help us to deduce that his wingspan was more than the length of a school bus. That's 40 feet. Aha! A grouping of the Lophosaurus. Notice that twin head crest? Scientists believe that may have been a feature of male Dilophosaurus. Kind of reminds me of the Atlas on a deer, who might use those to fight over females and territory. Groups of fossilized footprints help us to deduce that these dinosaurs may have traveled in herds. Anything on the end of its tail? That is called the Thagomizer. The metarger carnivore towards the back is named Allosaurus. Allosaurus fossil was found with, with a puncture wound shaped just like a Thagomizer. And the Stegosaurus neck plate had a wound that fit the Allosaurus snout. Deduction? Elementary, my fellow deputies, these two dinosaurs fought. I'm rooting for Allosaurus. How about you? Dinonychus. Parasaurolophus were known for their large, elaborate cranial crest. Much discussed by scientists because no modern animal has any feature even close to this one. It's a clue with nothing to compare it to. So cool, but so mysterious. Allosaurus just might have been one of the largest animals ever. But here's an interesting clue supported by fossil evidence. Due to shell size limits, a dinosaur is big size fish. Add that clue to the elongated snout and gap like claws, and one could deduce that Baryonyx lives along the water's edge and elegantly dines on fish. Check out Protohadris. Anyone notice something about the criticality of this dinosaur? It's got interesting mouth. <laughs> it's got some stripes, might remind you of a camel. But I was looking at the Any guesses? What dinosaurs do we have here? Triceratops. Battling a T Rex indeed. But is that true? Did they really fight? Well, they lived in the same place at the same time, so that's a pretty good clue. And a Triceratops fossil was found with Tyrannosaurus bite marks and a tooth embedded in its tail. Peru, they battled. I'm not sure who won, but T-Rex looks like she has the upper hand. Even though, baby T-Rex over here would have been more vulnerable to bigger dinosaurs. This is an adult T-Rex. Mighty animal, eh? 40 feet in length, 7 tons, banana-sized teeth, the sharpest of claws. But they didn't all start out life that way. And as a matter of fact, this baby T-Rex who looks in danger next to the three 